All right, so if there's any other questions about the Immelman, I can try to answer those. And um, if there are not, then we can derp around and do some gameplay and see what see what happens. Let's see. Signals. Usually try to buy up to about a hundred. We have a lot, it's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. So, last check. Uh, 264,000, uh, near end. 264,000 coal, I think, is the number. Remember to change slot five back? We can do that. I could play it with concealment, though. Just because this spotting is atrociously bad. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to leave concealment on for the lulls. So we'll uh, we'll play with that. So we'll see how these natively regen. So uh, the skip bombers, instead of regening one every 58 seconds, it's one every 61. And then uh, instead of, I think it's 61 or 62 seconds, it's now 65 for the torpedo planes. Once again, we start with two full squadrons. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Is it Groff Zeppelin bad? Uh, no, it it's much more uh, conceptually together than the Groff Zeppelin. The Groff Zeppelin is just a whole big weird bag of tricks. The Immelman, I mean, it only has two tools. It has skip bombers and torps, but they are generally applicable. The bombers are really applicable across all classes, um, depending on, you know, if it's broadside when, you, when you're able to hit it. And then the... Um, Torps are torps, so I mean, that's you already know that going in. Is the concealed Groff Zeppelin bad? Uh, no, I don't think anything is uh, Groff Zeppelin bad in terms of uh, CV concealment. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I mean, Groff Zeppelin conceal is pretty rough. All right, so we've got uh, Smallend, which is probably the biggest destroyer AA threat. Multiple battleships we can attempt to deal with. And we're going out in the skip bombers. They are extremely fast. It's man, not man. I, I don't know what you're referring to. But I do see a Kappa, so. Yeah, so a lot of, uh, a lot of the new CVs, the FDR, the German line, they're not destroyer hunters. Um, it does feel like, in general, Wargaming is pulling away from from destroyer interactions on carriers where able. Um, I think they've been working on that for a while, so, I mean, that's the last several... Ugh. Oh, he woke up. Haragumo woke up. Because I can try to bomb the Haragumo. We've almost lost one plane. We did lose one plane. We're going to lose another one soon. So I don't really have the ability... Well, do I have the ability to drop? Do that. Well, so we nipped him for seven. Try to get out of his mid-range. So short range or long range is going to have the least AA damage. He's still showing us a lot of broadside. Got another two, so we hit him pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the torps regenning. Yeah, it was uh, that was pretty silly. He just kind of sat there and waited to get shot. He could have turned, he could have smoked, he could have done whatever. Instead, he just sat there and waited for us to shoot him. So you know, destroyer's gonna destroy her. Okay, so we've got torp planes now. Um, there's a Wichita. We could go for the Bismarck, maybe. And we potentially see what's in Charlie while we do it. Now notice the torpedoes are much slower than the skip bombers. Yeah, it doesn't seem bad against, uh, you know, doesn't seem bad against bad DDs. Well, if, if they're just going to walk forward and be like, hey, shoot me, bro. Well, don't be surprised when people go, oh, okay, I guess I'll do that for you then. I'm going to fly over a Wichita. I'm not excited about that, but I'm going to pop the engine boost and try to come in on the Bismarck. Plus we can heal just because we're going to be in the close range of the Wichita, which, I'll be honest, I don't know if it's good or bad. 
Bismarck's AA is not amazing. We drop fairly generously in terms of how far it has to be, because these are Groff Zeppelin Torps. They are like 30-something knots. Let's just pop that and get it done. Go back out in the skip bomber, see what we can do. <clears throat> All right, so we got some damage into the Bismarck. Benson is pushing up. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything really going on over here. Hakuri is on the Z, but the Massachusetts is with the Iowa. It'll probably be okay. And it looks like the Benson is smoked. Benson probably just smoked up. Or no, it seems to be going away. Interesting. We did get a flood, though, so uh, we could try to light fires on the Bismarck. I'll do this. I'll pop the engine boost. Remember, it's eight to seven or seven to eight kilometers. You can see how far we have to start this attack run to get to the Bismarck. Also, remember, we hit the side of the Bismarck. We're just going to shatter, which is okay. We might still light fires, which we did get a fire, but all we did was shatter. And now we get to see two destroyers in close range. Drop a fighter for spotting. Maybe we can come in on this. I could also bomb the Bismarck again, but I think I have to go for the DDs. So the Cossack is just kind of backing up, waiting to get shot. Try that. We got one. Wichita is close enough that I don't really get to turn in that way on the Cossack. Benson either beaches or hard turns. We might be able to catch him in the hard turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. We got one. So there's some accuracy to it. It's not bad. This is rough. Do we have to work on this side now? Might have to. It's going on the Sov. Sov has a fighter up. So I don't have to worry about that per se. One of the DDs is down, which is good. We might actually, we might have needed to drop, uh, go back out with the... Yeah, we have to work on the small end, I think. And we might end up needing to use our, our, um, secondaries. We have a heal in 19 seconds, which you probably want to wait for. Because there's a Neptune. Yeah, I think we do. Maybe we could uh, try to light the small end, maybe? Come on, dude. Where is it? Yo, buddy. Where's the small end? Yeah, so the Haragumo's in smoke, so... Small one's in smoke as well, so there's nothing I can do over here. Yeah, whatever. This was a waste of time. Uh, we'll try and try strike something over here, maybe? All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. Hey, who knows? We might get lucky. I mean, Massachusetts secondaries might do something. But you can see how slow the Torps are. And once again, the torpedo planes have very little health. So, yeah, nothing I'm going to be able to do over there. I need to focus on people that are going to actually do something. Can we get help? For what? Well, it didn't work out so well. Okay, uh, Lepanto is pushing up. I don't think I'm really going to be able to interact with the small end. I could be wrong on that. I think I'm actually going to start cutting over here and use, use the team for a front line so that we can try to push that way. Um, Ulan, Sov, they can join together. Ulan needs to be opening up on this. Buddy, buddy. Teammate, I need your support. Shoot the planes. All right. Maybe try for the Iowa. Aiming behind him, try and see if we can get some superstructure hits. Did you get a fire? Lost two planes. Maybe we can spot the Cossack, maybe? Maybe? 
Here's the Cossack. Hey, bro. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Yeah. Can't linger in this. Just wanted to get out. Cossack's temporarily lit. We probably lose a plane coming in on this. We might maybe get a bomb. Which could potentially be a kill, alright. That might actually be good. All right, cool. Enemy destroyer foundered. All right, so they love me. So nice. All right, uh, Lepanto moving. Double DDs using smoke or something. Don't really have a way on a small end, especially if it's gonna move. I don't understand why they're scared of the Z, but okay, that's cool too. I still have an engine boost. It could be running out on the. Um, it could be running out on the skip bombers again. How about... How about I go ahead and pre-drop? And we maybe take a run in on the Lepanto? And then go out with the skip bombers again. We'll see what trouble we can get into. Z's going to be actively hunted, but he's off in the middle of nowhere. Cool. Got good hits on the Lepanto. Hand holding gives comfort. <laughs> right. So we still have A, which is awkward that they haven't just walked over and taken it. I assume the Smollett is going to do that now. All right, so we're going to try one of those high-velocity strikes against the Neptune. Uh, we don't have an engine boost consumable, so what we can do... Although this is not going to work out, but start our attack around eight clicks. Small and pushing forward. Interesting. And I'll chuck about there. Hard turn, slam on the brakes, and try to cut out so that we try to get out of his mid-range as quickly as possible. We actually hit all four there, which is pretty nice. This will not be a good drop, but thankfully the uh, small one's AA is not on. <laughs> Detonation. Woohoo! Well, it ended up being an okay drop. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I do I do have a tendency to say this is not gonna work out, then all of a sudden there's a detonation. So that does seem to be the secret code for making something happen. That's still a shitload of uh health. Get back. Uh Okay, getting shot by the Neptune. We're gonna go in on the Bismarck here, go for a long drop, and then hard cut off to the right. We drop about four point something. Just trying to bail. We got three hits, only one of them actually mattered, and we didn't get any fire, which is sadness. Trying to go for the Neptune is probably also sadness. Argumo is extremely low, that's cool. Maybe that's why he's dying for me to go after him. Do we have another shot here? I think I go for the Lepanto, because the Bismarck's just not going to give me a line. So, drop and bail. Come back out. We have 12 torps, which is not a lot. To get a fire, but a bunch of shatter. So against battleships, you're going to encounter a lot of shattering, which is going to be a bitch. Um, you have torpedoes for that. I mean, if the torpedo hits, it's going to deal some damage, but it's not a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, you have to figure out how you want to make that work. Maybe we can strike in on the Bismarck this time. So again, we don't have to get close enough to where his fighter could latch. Let's do that. Hard turn. Hard turn. Double fire. Useful. Does it stick? No damage condit. We have a lot of caps. Z is running, so he's just basically pulling attention, which is nice. 
Bismarck is hard turning or something. If we can relight the Bismarck, that would be great. We have to watch for the island. We need to make sure this is going to skip. Not skipping. Now it's skip active. I dropped too close, but it'll be fine. Autopilot mode enabled. Double fire. That one's going to stick. He's dead. But, I mean, he took A. That's been a huge source of points for a really long time. Uh, however, we don't have really any ships, so that sucks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to solo down a Neptune. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how this one's going to go. We can roar in on the Bismarck, I guess. Maybe if we get a flood, it'll stick for a little bit. Pop the heel. That will not be great. We'll cut off in this way and we'll try to read the turn, come back in, and hopefully we get a flood. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Yeah, I don't know about this. The Seattle could kill the Neptune, that'd be great. We destroyed okay. enemy battleship. Okay, still a lot of battleships to deal with. We do have a bunch of skip bombers, which is good. We might actually have to start coming in and swinging with secondaries, maybe. Uh, we could try an over the island drop on the Lepanto, maybe. Oh, but there's the Georgia. How could I not go for the Georgia here? We're gonna run out of boost. That's sad times. Do we get this shot? Do we get this shot? Do we get this shot? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Nope. Nope. Wait, one of them jumped over. Sad times. The power of bait is strong. Alright, so we can work on the Lepanto, I guess. And also, I'm gonna start moving in to pull fire. The Jai goes down, though. But I will have secondaries? Good shit. Seattle murdered the Neptune. Or, sorry, Haragumo murdered the Neptune, but we'll pretend it was the Seattle. Fuck yeah. Our team is taking the lead. George is going to hard turn. And we're not going to be able to do anything because the George is hard turning. Maybe we get lucky. It just takes one. There we go. Enemy battleship destroyed. All right, so skip bombers, torps. That's what you got. Uh, we were able to nurse the regen so that we still had the ability to strike in toward the late game. Uh, it started to get a little dicey toward the end when it's like, how do we start chiseling into this giant ball of health? But uh, it did work out okay, so that's good. Why is reconnaissance such a different, difficult word? I don't know, you just hear how somebody says it and then you mimic it, and then you've said it correctly. Full Immelman rank out next sprint? Uh, I don't know if I'll have it for the next ranked sprint. Because it goes away in 2 hours and 58 minutes. Alright, so if anybody has any questions, we can uh, we can answer some questions as a response to this. And uh, yeah, I'll play it again. Potato quality was the Bijai. Well, that's cool. Would I not spend the coal on it? It's not available in the armory for me, probably because it exists in my inventory already. But I mean, I'll buy it once I can. I should have enough coal. Yeah, I have enough coal. So, I guess I'll just buy it that way, I don't know. Do the skip bombs feel fun to use? It's interesting, because you've got, you've got, you know, the windows. This line can strike, this line can strike, so maybe if one line's just not going to work out, then you've got to speed up or slow down to make the other line work. It's, it's interesting in altering how you have to think about attacking. 
So that's kind of cool. Uh, I also do like the concept of that seven to eight kilometer uh, line because you could use island cover like we saw the Georgia. The Georgia was able to dip behind an island. He wasn't hugging the island, but the fact that he had that island meant I didn't have a clean line to shoot from a long distance, which is good. I thought that was interesting. And then also, I mean, if you had another a friendly ship or something that was able to block that clean line, well, then theoretically that friendly ship would be drawing aggro from, uh, from the attack off the other ship. Do I have the Vampire 2? Probably. Uh, I've never played it. When is it going to release? Uh, I think the Emblemen comes out in 10.3, so as soon as the 10.3 release happens. What is the pen on the bombs? It's the same as the midway, uh, midway bombs. 68mm, 65% fire chance according to the port. Okay, well now this, uh, this number is correct for the maximum torp damage of 4767, so this is what it's supposed to be. <clears throat> if I could rank this CV in comparison to the other tier 10s, what would I choose it? Would I choose it over a midway for a clan battle? Um, so one thing that this has over other tier 10s is if you're dropping a broadside destroyer, 68% is that with flags? Uh, I don't have demolition expert and I do have flags. So 68 with, so it's probably 66 by itself. I believe it's the same as the midway. Um, what do I think about a Friesland when I'm in a CV? Is it easy to deal with? Not when it's in smoke. Um, the anti-air destroyers are all about the game of when do you surprise the planes? Because if you just light off and just like, hey, I'm over here, well, then it's much easier to play the flak dodgy minigame and look at what are your options in dealing with something. Um... If instead you wait for the planes to kind of get into cover, uh, get into your anti-air range and then kind of pounce like a spider, I mean, you can rip some stuff up. So the Friesling can do that. Other European can, DDs can do that. Defensive fire can be uh, quite effective, especially when it's in a surprising situation. But would I choose the implement over the midway in a clan battle? Um, it just comes down to dependability. And it depends on what we're going against. If we were going against all destroyers, I wouldn't necessarily want this against destroyers because the skip bombs can get ripped apart uh, even by destroyer AA, especially if people use like Marceaux or Smolens. Um, but I would still be able to bomb from a, a safe distance. So if they're open water and lighting themselves, I mean, they could dodge. They could just turn bow in or something and the bombs would just skip right past them or whatever. But... It just comes down to what's reliable, and I don't know. You wonder how an FDR versus the Emmelman would do? FDR has a lot more direct damage than the Immelman does. Because you saw, we were bombing battleships and we got lots of shatters. Well, what happens if you bomb with an FDR? You're coming down on the deck, so you're not going to shatter nearly as much. If you're torping, I mean, it's got heavy torp broadsides and has enough planes to stick in the area and haunt, whereas the Immelman's going to be a quick... Go to a place, strike. Go to a place, strike. Go to a place, strike, strike. Go to a place, strike, strike. Um, FDR is a very different ship. I mean, your planes are very fast. Can you block them as well as in a midway? Your planes are very fast. Can you block them as good as in a midway? Block what? I mean, if the planes are faster, then it would be easier to block an FDR because I can fly faster and position better. So, yeah, midway planes are slower. Immelman planes are faster. I, I would have less fighters, though. In a midway, I would have 12 fighter consumables. If I take the two-point talent, that gives me a bonus consumable. In the Immelman, I only have eight. So that gives me uh, only two-thirds the amount of fighters to be able to, like, protect or ward my team. So this is a much more aggression, uh, consistent aggression-based carrier. It's more of a siege carrier. Yeah, I realize interceptor build, but I would still only have eight consumables as opposed to the midway with 12. 
If I wanted 12 consumables in very fast planes, I would use the Hakuryu or the Ristofen. Both of those could have 12, uh, 12 fighters. What is the max possible speed of the Immelman Skip Bomber planes? 242, I think is what it is. 242, that's the maximum speed. That's with uh, the speed module in slot 6 and the bomber speed as well as improved engines. 242 is the maximum speed. Is that a blue max insignia on the ship's bow? I have no idea. So... Sorry, I, I, I don't know. I just play the game, I don't know ships.